were God, we are God, uh, meant for so much more than a world filled with, this week especially, calamity, the inexplicable, the mysterious fallings apart of uh, cities and whole lives and families. And in other parts of the world, war, uh, a war again that we as a people are engaging, about to engage. Pain, uh, wrecked relationships in our lives, illness, loneliness, depression, financial inequity, socioeconomic imbalance. We want more than this world has to offer. Show us how you are that more now here today. Through the mystery of all of these things that we cannot understand, help us know an even greater mystery. Show us how you hold your world and each of us in it so that your name might be glorified. In Christ we pray. Amen. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. All week long, my heart has been breaking and re-breaking for the people of Japan. How much can one people in one part of our world sustain? First, a huge, fifth strongest ever recorded earthquake and then a huge 10-meter tsunami, and now an ongoing nuclear crisis. Disaster upon disaster upon disaster. So many lives lost, and yet in the ongoing calamity of it all, we can't even mourn that earthquake damage and tsunami damage because of the fears we're now facing, they're now facing. So much damage physically, psychologically, environmentally, economically. And the truth is, on this side of the world, anywhere in the world, there's so little we can do to help. We can offer logistic support. We can raise money, but Japan doesn't need money. We can offer moral support and obviously be praying. But the truth is, we cannot change what has already happened, nor can we ever make it better again, make it as though it didn't. 
In so many ways, we, the world, are helpless helpers. It was this picture on Tuesday in the Globe and Mail that affirmed in me to change the sermon topic from a biblical parable to this global parable that we're now reading and have been listening to. The girl, younger daughter, is behind glass because she's been exposed to radiation, and her mom is looking at her through that glass. And I just about cried when I thought too deeply about what a mother would feel. It's my daughter. I gave birth to her. My baby. All of those maternal protective instincts rising up inside of her, trying to keep control, to not panic, filled with I would do anything to save her feelings. Surely, God, you must feel this way toward the people of Japan who are suffering right now. And surely, God, there is no glass between them and you. Be their refuge and their strength, their ever-present help in trouble, and help them not to fear. Fear. 